the pigeonhole. That's right. Five in the morning. Doing a pigeonhole. <laughs> My sleep schedule is fucked up. All right, y'all. My name's Evan. I'm Sam. And this is the pigeonhole. We come out every month, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Sundays. Yeah, Sundays. Kind of every every month or so. Uh, depending on certain events, if stuff happens, we'll make this more frequent. So, Styles Over Radio. You can catch the ideas. You can catch the memes on our Discord page, stylesoverradio.com. Discord. You'll find it there. But we're going to be starting now. It's going to be a longer episode, y'all. 32 images or so. Style counted for me. So, here we go. First one looks like a Minecraft Pringles can. Uh, it's not blocky. It's like the same as like a normal Minecraft Pringles can. It says the limited edition suspicious stew flavor now available at any shipwreck or snack aisle. Ooh. What does the sh- what is suspicious stew? Do you th- what do you think it tastes like? Like what do you think mm-hmm. it actually tastes like? You think it's good? I think it's it- a lot of mushrooms. A lot of mush. Oh yeah, it does take a lot of mushrooms to make, doesn't it? But like you don't know if they're the good mushrooms or the bad mushrooms. That's what makes it suspicious. Oh, oh. That's what I'm thinking. So you mean like the psychedelic mushrooms? Yeah. Oh, so that's like- why everything looks like that. That's why yeah. everything's blocky. It's, it's like all simulated. It's all part of your brain that's just on mushrooms all the time. Part of the matrix. Wow. Second like one style scent is an image. And uh, Celine, what do you, what do you think of this? What do you think of this picture? It reminds me of my childhood, moving into a new place. Uh, it's one of those. This is our new setup, like rate right my setup video, and it's just a, uh, uh, DS. On sitting on the floor, open an up. empty room, empty room, carpeted next to the window. Perfect. Hey, it's all it takes, all it takes to make a guy happy. Women don't understand. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. Most of my viewers or listeners are uh, men, anyways. So. You're right, women don't understand. No, they don't. No, they don't like they me. They don't. They don't like me because I say women. So. Women. All right, what is the other one? What's the next one? Sent by style. It says, they gave my client a life sentence, but I looked spectacular. Oh. Women! It's a it's a lawyer, and she's just taking a picture in the courtroom of her business casual fit. I'm saying, man. Women don't get it. Explain. I'm going to elaborate more. Well, why do you think? Why do you think they do this? You're the expert here. I'm not. I will say though, she do be looking a little thick. Might be she does look what a little Latina, don't you think? Yeah. She got Latina. she got the Latina jeans. She got that long black straight hair. Yeah, long black straight hair. She got the Latina hips. Mm-hmm. But can't do her job. Sounds about right. Whoa, that's racist. <laughs> racist. It's alright though. Racism can be cured with the picture that Jules sent underneath of the uh, the elf bar. Uh, it's an elf bar, but it's the grimmest one. All right, guys, that's topical, yeah. right? That trend totally didn't end a month ago. Not a month ago, probably a couple weeks ago. Awesome. Grimace playing Fortnite recently, and there's uh, in the Discover page. Uh, I didn't play it, but there is like two, three thousand people that are uh, that liked a Grimace map, and I. I don't know if I want to play it or not. I want to know when they're going to drop the Grimace skin along with the Hamburglar and the Ronald McDonald skin and all that. Ooh, the Fortnite McDonald's collab? Make that happen. Hell yeah. Make that happen. What would the emo be? Ooh. Probably patty flipping or... A burger flipping second. Yo. (laughs) (laughs) Yo. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, man. You ever have, like, water from McDonald's before? It feels surreal. No. Like, I don't you ever, trust like, go it. through the drive You have to pay now. What? Going through the drive thru, you have to pay for water. It's like a dollar. No way. Mm hmm. Back when I was in, like, high school, you'd be driving through and you'd ask them for water. They gave it to you for free. Yeah. Now you have to pay a dollar. Well, I know here in the state of Arizona, 
all establishments. If you go in and ask for nothing but water, they are legally required to give it to you. That's if you go we're in. in the desert. That's if you go yeah. in. If you go in. But that's still dumb. through the drive through Well, water is the oldest beverage ever. And somehow uh, has no nickname. No one is ever like, yeah, sure, go for a cup of that clear or whatever. Huge oversight. And someone replied with, uh, sip it on the moist. Or mm. old splashy. Drinking the wet. I mean, people say agua. Like, people that don't native, don't, like, don't speak native Spanish. They'll be like, yo, can I get that agua? Mm, yeah. I've heard that. I think it's but just because water is the perfect name for it. Water. Mm. That stuff is water. Say it in British real quick. What? Uh? There you go. <laughs> Boom! No one in England watches my show or listens to my show. We'll be fine. We don't want them anyways. I'm All right. Stinking Brits. <sighs> Cope, 1776. Valerie's in eighth grade. Whoever put vodka in a water bottle and then put it in the freezer is responsible for Valerie getting drunk at her soccer game. Ooh. Dude, that's, that's old splashy right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's vodka and water. That's Vodka unclear. and water is disgusting. What do you mean getting drunk at her soccer game? Valerie totally didn't realize that she would taste vodka in the middle of her soccer game. Like, yeah. boy, I'm parched. Either that, or she just took a big old gulp of it before it's too late. Since she's such a little white, lightweight, it just got her. A little white late. <laughs> yes, English. Yeah, late white people. Yeah. Never exist. Oh, they do exist. I don't know. Not it's as... women. Late women. Late white people are women. <laughs> women. Oh man. <laughs> read the other. Read read this one, Sam, if you don't mind. Yeah. All right. It's from style. Men invented online gaming as an excuse to talk on the phone all night with other men. I'm experiencing that right now. It's currently 5:20 in the morning, and uh, Style and I got off of the got off of the game. When did we get off the game? Hmm. Uh, you guys were on there for like two, three hours. Oh well, yeah, At but least. like, when did I get off? I think three. In three, the morning, three in the time? morning. Yeah. And now it's 5.20. That's awesome. Hey, man. Sometimes the boys want to chat. People say Discord, too, is there for uh, chatting all night for the PC gamers. Discord's a whole other realm. And I still think that uh, a lot of the, the mainstream chats on Discord should be banned. Everyone is so toxic on Discord for mm -hmm. no reason. No reason. Not on our uh, Discord, though. Styles of Radio. I haven't had any toxicity at all. So and that's not just me trying to promote it, that's just like true. But I think it's all the COD gamers moved on it's, to Discord. It's not even COD gamers, it's worse. It's all the League of Legends players and all the Genshin Overwatch. Impact and Overwatch players. All the Yeah, they're not even like the CSGO players. The CSGO players are like funny. Like funny racist. But Overwatch people, they're just like fat virgin like racist you know yeah, what i mean there's funny racist and then actual racist no there's funny there's fu there's three types there's funny racist there's unfunny racist and then there's actual racist mm. the it's unfunny true. ones are where all uh where they linger in discord a lot of times mm -hmm. all right next picture was sent by style it says uh moved into my new apartment my neighbor left me this note oh man i gotta oh. I gotta zoom in to say this. You wanna read it? Yeah. Okay. I got you. Hey, neighbor. Curtis Wexel Trust here from apartment number 7D. Just wanted to welcome you to the building. Noticed you had a Nickelback bumper sticker when you were unloading boxes today. So I made you this Nickelback mixtape with a few of my favorite songs. I also love tequila, so I wanted to give you this bottle. If you like the mix, we should connect with Annie from number 14B and listen to it together. She also loves Nickelback. See you around. Gee. The most Canadian thing ever. I love it, though. People need to do this more. People don't give gifts to people anymore. Not to strangers, at least. Not to strangers, no. I really do. That's a very Canada thing. Because Nickelback's Canadian. If you oh, didn't know. I did not know that. They are. They I are. might be related to them, then. All Canadians are related. 
Yeah, you can you say that Americans are inbred? It's really Canadian. Yeah, it is. The Snow Hicks. Have you seen Letter Kenny? Snow Mexicans. In the history of Kids' Choice Awards, only two people have ever won the Nickelodeon Lifetime Achievement Award. In 2014, it was Dan Schneider. Gross. In 2023, it was Optimus Prime. Yeah. Both liked feet. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not elaborating. I forgot about that. That's great. It, it's canon in the movie. Yeah. With Optimus Prime, he just... Well, it's always been established Optimus Prime like them pigs. He's always trying to suckle on them toes. Megan Fox's toes. Perfectly manicured toes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Sorry uh, for the boner y'all just got. Boner time. Boner alert. Well, time to kill it by talking about sports. All right. Yeah. The game day of MLB posted this is the craziest jersey they've ever seen. And it's uh, a number 11 on the back, and it says September. Mm. Nice. Nice. September 11th. Might have been the day he got married. Reminds me of that tragedy. The norm joke for y'all. Rest <laughs> in peace. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. Oh, yeah. Time to kill your boner even more. Brock Lesnar. What do you guys think, Brock? What do you think Brock Lesnar looks like? I'm just looking at him. He kind of looks like that Easter Island head. <laughs> you know what I mean? He does. <laughs> you know? I mean, he even has his mouth open. Like it's just. But a the very Easter Island off. heads don't have their mouth open. Well, like in Night of the Museum, you know how. Oh, gum the, gum. Yeah, dum yeah, dum. That dum dum. Give me gum gum. Yeah. He's the poster child. Of an open mouth Easter Island head. Yes. Damn. 14 years ago today, Brock Lesnar cut his best promo ever at UFC 100. And Brock Lesnar said, how can I? I don't even, I don't even listen to Brock Lesnar's promos that much and even do an impression of him. When I'm, I was like, all my impressions goes towards Steve Austin. And it's not going to be that. I, can't, I don't even know what Brock Lesnar sounds like. But uh, I'm going to. Oh, Let's try fun. to do it in the most testosterone voice you can. Mm. Or just going the complete. That's Steve Austin. Uh, I'm gonna come home tonight. I'm gonna drink a Coors Light, and that's a Coors Light because Bud won't let me. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm gonna drink a Coors Light. That's a Coors Light because Bud Light won't let me pay. Won't pay me nothing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's Steve <laughs> Austin. I turned <laughs> Brock Lesnar into. It. They sound the same. They're both talking about beer. We're both talking about beer. The manliest sport for beer. Professional wrestling. <laughs> Nothing like grown men getting sweaty all over each other. Yeah. Yummy. At least there's no women. <laughs> there are now though. And there's a, and there's a new wrestler that everyone freaks out about. The uh, the mommy. All the lesbians freak out about her, but they don't watch wrestling. All they do is watch the Instagram and the TikTok shorts of her just being somewhat kinky on national television. Joke on you guys. If you follow the story of her, she's straight. Lesbians stay mad. Keep losing. L. Mm -hmm. Plus ratio. Plus don't ask. Plus don't care. Plus you don't have balls. Plus... <laughs> Plus I never put <laughs> plus I never put myself in the position where I have to shit. I always want to shit and it's got me this far. What do you mean you have to shit? Like no, I don't wait. Oh, I've definitely have put myself in positions where I've had to shit. Like on purpose. Oh. On purpose, like Like you just drink too much milk and go for it, hope for the best. Little science experiments on my, my body. <laughs> I'm a milk drinking boy. Call me Hans Landa. No, don't call me that. <laughs> some of the some of the people would get that joke. I am not Hans Landa, guys. Don't cancel me. It's a it's a joke. It's a joke. Hans Landa is a national socialist from Inglorious Bastards. If you don't know what a national socialist is, 
look up the abbreviated term of it. Speaking of National Socialists, we got some good quotes from some uh, oh, Aristotle. from yeah from philosophers here. We got Aristotle. It's a quote saying, "What does it mean to be a good person?" Uh, Nietzsche says, "What does it mean?" Bertrand Russell, "What does it mean?" And then Steve Austin. Come on, give me a best Steve Austin impression, Sam. What does he sound like when he says what? What? Oh no <laughs> no. I'm. I don't watch wrestling. What? There you go. That's how you say. It. He's southern. He's from Texas. Come on. No, oh, they all sound the same. Whoa. All Texas. You're fired. Oh. You're fired. I wasn't even getting paid. <sighs> Neither am I. You're fired. <laughs> you can fit almost exactly one pound of tannerite into a Roomba's dustbin for research. Pro- I didn't. Why What's did I? Tannerite? Why did I not realize that you can have a dustpan? There's a dustbin in Roombas. I, it's a vacuum. I'm mm. so stupid. I mean, I've never had a Roomba before. I guess. I don't know. I've, I don't know. I never thought of it better. I've been either, too though. cheap. I've been too cheap and I've been too uh, uh, productive to get a Roomba. Yes. The only reason I would get a Roomba is if we had a cat so the cat can ride around on it and chase it. That's yes. about it. That's really the only reason. Next post is a picture of a cop taking somebody taking the picture of a back of a squad car. Is that what that is? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. It's one of those cars that says to comment on my driving, text this number or call this number. So uh, somebody said, if you don't signal one more time, you'll be pulled over. And it's a selfie of a cop from behind. The guy just said, sorry. <laughs> is it a California plate? It no. is. Yeah, it is. is that's it? a that's a California it plate. Is. Ick, icky, gross, Ew. Ew-y. Ooh. California Next drivers one's... being the worst drivers ever. Oh, Jules, sending a photo. Oh no, she sent that one. My bad. My bad. I was about to make fun of you, Jules. Never mind. You're saved. You're saved. I was about For to now. say that the first picture that you sent in a while, of course, has to have boobies in it. Women, but. She, uh, she didn't. I'm a fool. Are right, you want to read this one? Sure. So it's a, it looks almost like a mugshot of a Hooters waitress with the caption, Hooters waitress taken into custody for allegedly dipping hot wings in her vagina on and off her period to rude oh, customers. More like a jug shot. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's disgusting. Oh, I didn't even. I just. I was waiting for you to finish so I could say the jug shot joke. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> she was. Oh, dipping hot wings into her vagina and eat. On and off her period to rude customers. She was doing that shit for free. She could have sold those on OnlyFans for like twenty dollars a pop. She kind of looks like that attorney from the previous picture. <gasps> it might be her after she got Racism. fired. Yeah, after she got fired from taking photos next to the judge. Not yeah. next to the judge. Next to the, the podium. Mm-hmm. Next to the podium. Like, what is the little thing that the judges slam? The little hammer. The gavel. Gavel. <laughs> Dumbass name. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass name. The gavel. Ew. Oh, what is Ryobi? It's um, um, it's like a, a tool a shop. Um, no, it's a tool company. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the picture is of a Snapchat, and it says, My Ryobi guy's setting up his display with his Milwaukee Impact. Damn. Nice. Damn. That says something. I don't know. In case you guys can't tell, uh, I don't use uh, all the tools that I use, even though I'm a mechanic. All the tools that we use are kind of issued to us, so we don't really know which brand they are. We really don't. Uh, I don't care to take too much attention to it either. I don't know what brands are better than the other. Are DeWalt's? DeWalt's good? My dad good? uses DeWalt. DeWalt and Milwaukee are both pretty good brands. Okay. Imagine having a dad. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what a wild thrift find. Yeah, it's the Nike logo going through the Twin Towers. Oh. Dude, tilted. They just did it. <laughs> I've been corrupted. My brain's getting corrupted. I just said tilted towers. That's Fortnite. That's a place in Fortnite. Oh. A second storm has hit the tower. 
Yeah. A second <laughs> squat. A second squat is hit tilted. Oh shit, bro. Imagine if Disney Plus had the most watched timestamps. Talking about feet again. There they are. Avatar's feet. Little blue piggies. Of course. Was that really a thing? Okay, no, but. Oh man, I didn't even imagine the the realm of possibilities that people could have for watching blue feet. Hmm. Dan Schneider. Alien mommy. Dan Schneider, get on that. Are they not mommies? They're, they're tall. No, yeah, they're tall. And muscular. They're tall. They have sleeper they're not, builds. They're not muscular. They're just really tall, and they're like they're strong, but they're not like they're not. Well, you will go Lady Demetrius. The internet from the game. Demetrius. From uh, Resident Evil Village. Yeah. She's she's, she's not particularly she's strong, huge. but she's tall. No, she's tall. She's tall and she's super strong because she's a vampire. Um and she's also curvy. That's what that's what makes her a mommy. She's thick. That's true. She's thick. The true. avatars aren't. They aren't. The avatars are the twink version, I feel like. They're the they're what every 2000s girl aspired to have that body type oh, to be. Oh, the Thinspo? Is that what it was called? The Thinspo? Yeah. That's so gay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any of those photos saved when I was younger. No. You want to, save the, you want to read the next one? Sure. It's of our boy. Ah, George Bush. Also sent in by Jules. George says, W. Bush. Uh, George W. Bush meets with Kayla, mother of Harambe. <gasps> what? It's connected. He... It's Holy all connected. Shit. It goes back to the the Nike swoosh, tilted towers, George Bush, Harambe. It's a simulation. The internet's made up, guys. Oh it's gosh. all like, this isn't real. This isn't real. Just like how when you buy a clock from Iraq, and it says ten o'clock, you're like, nice, it works, and then it goes down to nine fifty nine. Wish.com clock. Oh. Oh. You guys ever just wanted to try some Mountain Dew Dew Dogs? Code Red Mountain Dew Hot Dogs? Hell yeah, brother. Brother, that's 120 calories per dog. And three grams of sat- sat- saturation fat. Whoa, 450. Okay. They are so unnaturally red. That is the most disturbing thing to me. Not even the flavor. It's just how red they are. Because it's code red and Mountain Dew dogs. It's the same color as a red rocket on a dog. You would think that. You would think that, you creep. I'm kidding. It does look like a dog <laughs> dick, though. I used to work at a vet, guys, so I know a couple. I know what dog <laughs> dicks look like. You've seen a couple in your career? Yeah, in my, yeah. I, unfortunately. And then Matthew, it's a text message from a random dude, or it's from Matthew, it says, yo, this your girl? And the guy responds with, I bet. What? What does that mean? Is that, so, is that a yes? Don't understand. I don't understand, dude. Style. I don't get it. You gotta elaborate this further on. Too abstract. Too next. abstract. I don't know if we know these people or not, but the next one under, oh, it's divorce papers. Oh, oh, it's a thread. It's a thread. He says, yo, is this your girl? I bet. These are your parents' divorce papers? Oh. <laughs> is this your mom on Match.com? Oh, and then he texts his mother, hey, what time should I pick you up tonight? And is then this... she replies, 7 p.m. is perfect. Oh, he's actually taking her mom out. Oh, and then he got her flowers? Is this her flowers? Favorite flowers? Is this your crib? Tell her I'm Dude. outside. Now that is a motherfucker man do you live wish. long enough to become the villain he did I wonder what the mom looks like though just saying she gotta be bad she gotta be like 280 280 pounds she ain't too late 80 she ain't a lady that's a woman I'm a proud advocate of BBW <laughs> I'm going to leave that in there in case somebody wants to sound clip that. Head game so bomb, they call me Sloppenheimer. Yeah. That's topical. There you go. Yep. Now I am become sleepy. 
destroyer of that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he said. But, hmm. More like Sleepenheimer. I haven't watched the movie. I don't know if this is going to come out tomorrow. And it's going to be around the time Oppenheimer's still a thing. But that dude really got... He really got boned twice in that movie. Because it's about him. It's not about the Manhattan Project. Right. It's about Oppenheimer himself. And apparently he gets boned twice in the movie. And it's like super out of... Like it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It's not pivotal to the story well, apparently, at all. Apparently one of the scenes is because the girl is like supposed to be like some Soviet spy. I don't think she was though. I even don't know. She... I didn't even know who Oppenheimer was till they made this movie. Real wow. I'm gonna be honest. Women. Yeah. That's okay. My only job is to cook. My <laughs> job is not to learn history. There you go. There you go. And if you guys like the idea of Sam starting a uh, Twitch channel called Trad Wife Gaming, she will do it. <laughs> Uh, will she will cook and she will clean on Twitch for you guys. Uh, Basically, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that porn account of that guy and it's all like very PG stuff and he's like, I help you take your jacket off when you get home and then I give you a hug goodnight and then leave. I heard that reference in like at least two years, but yes. Yes, that is yes. That's what Thread Wife Gaming would be like. Oh, you come home here. I have dinner all ready for you. Like, it would be so cringy, but I think it'd be funny. Just that tone of voice made me, odd, like, visually cringe. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Ah, oh, another text. Another text chat says, uh, well, I sent you a snap while you were in the shower, though. And the guy responds with, holy moly, those are some honga donga la donga does if I've ever seen any. Proper response. That is a proper response. Yes. Donga donga la hongus. <sighs> Another text is between these women, this couple. I think you're perfect, baby. Heart. Even if I like ska. Uh, I forgot about the ska thing. You know what ska is? No. Mm. Mm. It's not. It's a form of music. Ska is like a form of. Uh... Is it the rapper that likes ska? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, ska is like a form of. Jamaican music, like oh, reggae, okay. kind of. Is it like, like mumble rap, but no, reggae? No, 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 no. It's hard to describe. You kind of, you just got to be Something there, you man. Something experience. Yeah, you got to be there. All right. I'll do it on Treadwife Gaming. You won't scot on <laughs> Treadwife Gaming. You said, oh, man. My boss is so obsessed with me, guys. He really is. He keeps texting me, asking if I'm coming to work today. Like, um, yes, I was literally just there yesterday. Aww. His boss man has the title. How many people have their thing as boss man? Do you ever have a contact in your phone as boss man? Mine says their first and last name followed by supervisor in parentheses. Gross. That is gross. I don't know. It's because I'm dumb. I forget. You forget your boss's name? Yeah. Hmm. Well, okay, so I've worked there for two years, and I've had six different supervisors. Yeah, I guess. Well, even in the military, I know who my bosses were, and I get a bunch of supervisors, too. You're just women! Because I'm a woman. All right. And now we got the last submission. This was a fun one. You want to... I'll read the the blue. You read, you read the gray. I'm going to read the gray? It's a text chat, yeah. Okay. You sure you don't want to read the gray? I'll read the gray. Okay. Go for it. Oh, wait. Yeah. You you want to read the gray. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Spoilers. Jeez, you reading ahead? Women, dude. All right. You want to play 21 questions? Nah, not really. Okay, just ask me a question. But I just... Okay, I guess. You have any pet peeves? Yeah, I got a dog. You a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> Dumb and horny. I bet this guy's buffish. That's shit, my though. album cover name. <laughs> Buff and horny. I bet he's Indian. Sounds like an Indian chat. Oh yeah. He wants to see Bob's and Vajane. 
do you want to play 21 questions? That's not Indian. That's racist. That was something else. Are you a virgin? Yeah, but that's just, that's just racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for calling customer service. Oh, there you go. Ending Are you off. virgin? Ending off on racism. But it's funny. It is funny. I like non bread. So it's okay. I do like butter chicken. That shit non-bread is good. Non-bread is the easiest thing to fuck up. Like, eating it. Like, I tear oh. that shit up. Oh. Not making it. It's the easiest thing to fuck with your dick. It is. Um, I've, I've done it. The garlic really makes it slimy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On that note, I'm the Pidge, and I was joined by Sam. Goodbye. And you can catch us every month. Styles of Radio. We're on Spotify and we're also on like seven different platforms. Just learned recently that I'm on iHeart. Woo-hoo. Didn't know that. I learned that uh, today. But uh, if you want to submit anything, go to the Styles of Radio Discord page, submit stuff into the pigeonhole. I also have another show called Beyond Bounds, which comes out every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Saturday? Every other Saturday. Hey, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got you. you. Thank you. This is what women are for, guys. What women are for. Women are only good at cooking and correcting men. That's true. That's true. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. True. That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> that is a horrible thing to say. You're a. Uh... It's okay. I have a vagina and boot bobs. I can say it. But all right, guys. Play the Adventure Time music with the butterflies and bees, bubberflies and beebs. Let's go, people. It's not the Adventure Time music. It's a pirate theme. You guys know why I like pirate themes? Because I like pirates. All right, damn it. Don't question me. Somebody's questioned me before on why I like, uh, why I have a pirate, uh, outro. Shut up. That's what I got to say. That's the important question. It's not an important question. Yar, har, har, yo, ho, ho. In a bottle of, I mean rum, I mean cum, I mean cum, fuck. All right. See you, everybody.